video tutorial on scatter plots in R, part one. This is a multi-part series. Who knows how far it will go? But what we're going to do here is start looking at continuous against continuous data to see what kinds of pictures we can make. Okay, so we're not using the cycler data again for once. Now, what we're going to use today is the Sydney Hobart data, and this is about a boat race that goes from Sydney to Hobart, Tasmania, and it's the amount of time that it takes to run the race. What we have on the repository, you can go get this data set. Uh, you can download it. It does have a header, and it is not a CSV file, so you have to use read.table, and our separator is backslash T because it's tab delimited. Okay, so let's give this a run, and we can see what our data looks like. Uh, I'm going to click on it over here so you can get a better picture. So the data has yacht, the year, the days, hours, minutes, and then the total time that it took to run the race. But notice it actually has some text data here, which are the names of the ships that actually won. So it's kind of interesting to be able to look through and see what happens. And this goes up to 1997. They do keep running the races as far as I know. Uh, so what we can do is we want to plot the time that it takes to run the race by the year that the race was run in. Okay, so that's our basic idea here. And this is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, so we're going to just create a scatter plot of uh, the time that it took to run the race by year. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is we're going to use the plot command. We did this once before with the plot command, but we didn't really pay attention. So the first thing that goes in here is whatever your x value is. And in our case, our x value is going to be race 1 and it's the x value. We're interested in the year. Okay, the y value is how long it takes to run the race. Race 1, and then time is how long it actually took them to do that. And what we're going to do is just run this real quick and see what kind of picture we get. So we can't really read much here, so we zoom in, and you can see in general this is going uh, downhill. And that's what we're going to be interested in looking at in here, is there's three things. We're going to be looking at the direction, the form, and the strength. And this is... For the most part, negative is the direction, the form is it's kind of linear, maybe a little bit curvy, nonlinear, uh, and its strength is not that strong because it's not all stacked up on the same values. It, there's a lot of variation here. So uh, what we're going to do is now doctor up our x and y axes and put a title on this thing. Okay, still the same commands as before. X label is going to be equal to the year that it was run. And our Y label is time that it took to run it. And we want to have a main statement. And we would do, let's see here, Hobart, Sydney, or the Sydney Hobart race. And I'm going to put here backslash n year or time uh, versus year. And I might actually put race time. So let's see what this looks like when I run this. And look what the backslash n did. The backslash n gives me a new line. So it'll actually keep going uh, in my title. So I can actually put two lines in here using that backslash n. And notice I have year and I have time. And now it's labeled out well. And we can also play around with this a little bit more. So suppose that we don't particularly like the color of the dots. So we could do take our color of our dots and we could make them blue if we wanted to just by putting in the color that we're interested in and run it again and notice now we have blue dots instead of the black or blue circles instead of the black circles for our points um, and there's actually a whole bunch of options that we're going to go through as we go through this series of videos on how to doctor these things up and how to change some of the basics uh, associated with these plots. All right, so time to move on to the next video.